hold to monitor is much like an ECG, but it's a continuous recording over the course of one to 14 days of your heart rate and rhythm. You might need a hold for monitor if you're experiencing symptoms such as palpitations, flutters, chest pain, chest tightness, dizziness, and if these symptoms aren't happening on a regular basis and we've been unable to capture them on a, on a resting ECG. So by wearing this hold to monitor over a course of a few days, we may be able to capture these symptoms during the recording. The hold to monitor is a small device about the size of a cell phone. Uh, it has three or five electro detachments, depending on the duration that you're wearing it. They are small, round, sticky electrodes that will stick to your chest and lower left rib cage. The Holter monitor is small. Um, it's worn underneath your clothes. You won't even know it's there. People won't even know it's there. It's very small. The monitor does not move. It's attached to your skin. You do wear it to bed. That might be the only uncomfortable time. While you're wearing the monitor, we ask that you continue with all your normal activities. The only restriction is bathing or swimming. You cannot get the monitor wet. For the people who wear it for 7 and 14 days, we will give you instructions on how to remove it so that you can bathe and shower during the course of that time. We will send you home with a Holter diary, and in the diary we'd like you to record your physical activity or any strenuous activities that you do. We'd also like you to record any symptoms that you have, so time, activity, and symptoms during the course of the time you're wearing it. Preparation for the monitor would include um, no lotions, no creams on your chest. Uh, you cannot bathe or shower for uh, the period that you're wearing it for the 48 hour monitors. So we encourage you to do that before you come. For men with hair on their chest, they can um, ask for instructions if they would like to prepare their chest before they come, or we can do that here. Once you remove the monitor, you can dispose of the, the sticky electrodes yep. and the pouch. We do not need those back. The wires and the monitor are to be returned. You can tuck everything in this bag, mm -hmm. and this is what you will drop in the holter monitor oh, drop box. Sure. Yes. In summary, please come to the appointment with a clean, lotion-free chest to ensure that the electrodes will stick while you are wearing the monitor. You will be wearing the monitor for 1 to 14 days depending on what your doctor has ordered. We ask that you return the holter as instructed to the red drop box located outside the IM Care office. This drop box is accessible 24 hours a day through the emergency doors of the hospital. We ask that you dispose of the sticky electrodes and the blue pouch, but you must return the monitor, the wires and your holter diary in the bag provided. The data will be downloaded and processed within 48 hours and will be reviewed by the interpreting physician within five business days. A report will be generated and sent to the requesting physician and the family physician. The results will be discussed with you by the physician who ordered the test. It is very important that you return the holter by the date specified by the technician. This is to ensure that patient care and testing is not delayed and the monitor is available, cleaned and prepared in time for the next patient.